some sustain in uh work towards something like the wits end there's a lot of ap a lot of magic damage over on the immortal side and i True. think if he can get to like one two items get a wits end something like that in there i do think he's really going to start taking this over info, now solo will realize doesn't have flash from the earlier gank dokla just hits level six this is a rough spot for rumble to be in and dokla will start it off let's see who gets the kill credit they should give this over to the yone first blood a big doge we will get a dragon down on bot side yeah energy though potentially will they contest. it's contested ignore engages Contract locking down, beautiful CC chain as Balulu is caught out away from the rest of the members. Dragon goes over, but can the rest of Immortals retreat now? Treats has the flash, gets over the wall. Now Ignar's gonna continue. Doesn't have the flash himself. Treats slowed down. Treats will be sacrificed as well. There you have it, two kills for the Dragon. Energy trading up. Nicely done by Energy. And I really like how Palfox held his charm for so long. Because just having a threat of that as oh, Contract's looking more. for more. Yeah, they're not done yet. Energy want to take everything from Still doesn't have Flash. This is Ignar's moment. Push Treats up towards the river. Treats is in such a rough spot right now. Knocked up, slowed down, charmed up. And another kill given over to NRG. Who gets it? Looks like it's going to be FBI. Palafox gets the kill credit. Envy is coming up, but if they lose this 2v2, this is going to be one that really decides the game. Equalizer is ready, Starts and they have it. Ignite. Energy are just going to try and chain onto Solo. He flashes away. Dokla's in trouble. They're doing a lot of damage. Solo gets the kill, making a double to the top laner for Immortals. Palafox and Balulu, meanwhile, have their own 1v1 going. Charm lands. Palafox with the outplays. Flash from Balulu, and Foxfire is not enough to pick up the kill from Palafox. Does he go for the flash? No, I think Balulu's out of there. Yeah, doesn't move up. He could actually be getting cut off here, potentially, and not be able to get back towards mid. But now Balulu is going to go down towards bot. Tactical, though, he's been caught. Okay, Asher use instant cleanse. Flashes for Tactical. Wants to get aggressive on FBI. Doesn't quite have the rent stack. Oh, oh, but he survives! Treats keeping him alive! And Immortals get a double kill to their bot laner! Tactical. Out there from Treats, and it's enough to get those stacks as they're going topside. Yeah, chain CC onto Solo. He will get the Equalizer down and actually survives it. There's no more play for NRG unless Palafox really wants to force something here. Oh, Charm lands, and the shutdown is there for Palafox. Again, traded for a Dragon. Down on bottom side, so Tactical getting a lot of gold here wow. injected into him. Uh, now out to about 5,500 gold, so Tactical. And Ignar bot side reset at the same time. Immortals have four members up here to chase down Dokla. He will use the, the Yone to get away from that, but he's pulled right back in. Do they have the damage under turret? Tactical will pick up his third kill of the game. And Immortal is going to be able to knock down another turret here. Their bot lane took down that first tower on the bottom side. Now they're going to be able to get another one here up on that top lane. And yes, the Ari may have was stopped and Ignar contracts. They already committed to the play. So now we have a 3v2 teleport coming in from Dopa. Will not have the ultimate for this, but with FBI joining, Immortals now need to get out of their tactical with a really quick cleanse. But is it enough? He's trying to cut back. He's trying to get the damage in. He has the bailout yet again, but he cannot get the resets. Shut down as Balulu teleports in. Fancies himself some damage in this fight. Will get the kill on the Dokla. We've reset 3v3. Immortals now chasing NRG, who are trying to retreat. Chase in into the brush. They're focusing Kenvi. Balulu flashes away. He's the damage. Balulu gets the first one. Immortals are doing it. They're gonna get another one. Solo's melting down contracts and IMT are fighting back. Solo picks up a kill. Immediately go on the Callista. Tactical got a rend off in that fight. I think that's what sealed his fate. But now Palafox still playing for more here on the Kenvi. Diving between turrets, there's no help for Immortals Jungler. Does Palafox have the damage? Oh, he's spear rushing forward. Fox fire for the kill and flashes to safety. Nicely done there by Palafox. Can be doing a good job sidestepping some of the damage. You know, sidestep one of the earlier orbs of deception, trying to stay. Tactical were hiding in the brush. And that should just be Dragon. Let's see if Contracts can go for a steal. Might try and 50-50 this, but you're right. Kenby is here. Oh, they're yeah. just going to melt down Ignar. Long range from the Equalizer. Solo will grab that, so no contest anymore. That is a third Dragon for Immortals. Nicely done there by Immortals. Again, the bot lane kind of creating that play. They chunk out Ignar. Pulls back Contracts to allow them the space to take the Gromp on the Renata Glasgow champion that hasn't played all too often, but we heard from Thinkard, he was like, yeah, it's tough to play this all dive composition into this champion. 
And I think we're already starting to see the players feel a little uncomfortable with how they want to approach. Teleport coming in. All right, Doko looks for it onto Balulu. Really chunks him out, but Balulu says the only way out is in, and he'll trade his life. That's a 1v1. But nice. They do still have the gold lead, though. It is important to note that. And maybe they can use their pick tools that we talked about earlier. They go for the engage. Massive from Contracts and company. FBI is getting all that damage out. Tackle not saved this time, and energy make it happen. Battle oh, IMT. Turns into a very important play there from FBI. He was fishing with those Ash errors earlier. This is going to be more kite back style. They have found play after play for themselves, and energy now have to approach as for treats. Pulls in Dokla. Oh, he almost goes down immediately, and they snipe him with the equalizer. Solo might be traded, but he is still alive. It's going to come down to FBI and Palafox. They got to do a lot of care, but Balulu with a shuffle will take down two more. Palafox, he's still up. Maybe he can look for a miracle. But that just turned into a four for zero in favor of IMT. Immortals just wipe energy off the map there. Ignar keeps getting caught. It feels like a number of times in a row he's getting punished. You know, they have a lot of tools. Yeah. Actually, check these here too. There was like two waves that died to that tower. Um, but they were a little bit hesitant to do it. They wanted to try to control some space in between these lanes. Now they'll be able to take down the tier one mid five. They're trying to push out mid with FBI. So they want to try to reset <laughs> these waves as much as they can. Kennedy says enough is enough, guys. <laughs> <It's just laughs> wonder. Yes, uh. it looks like it probably, yeah, it is, I think. That's the one to catch you out. Speaking of getting caught out now, big engage from Ignar. If they can get Balulu right into contracts, his waiting arms. The mid lane are taking a lot of damage, but they've repositioned. Now they cut Palafox. Immortals turn the play again. And Tactical wants even more. Trying to chase onto Ignar. Flashes over the wall. Gets the knockup. Chasing onto FBI and Dokla. Energy are completely split right now. Some shutdown off him, and they wipe all his stacks off the Magi's, which it just seems that are down towards the bottom of the stand. They really do, man. Like, it just keeps the happening. Button, but then you're like, wait a minute. Everybody else is a little far behind. Let's see if Energy have any more in the oh, tank box. here. As they are looking for another play. They're catching up. Can be very tanky. Has to stop. Watch himself. Hostile takeover yet again onto Dokla. They can catch out the Yone. The shuffle from Balulu onto two. They got FBI. They're going to get contracts as well. A double kill to Tactical. And IMT own this rift. Dokla in full retreat. Will they allow him to escape? No damage to follow up. Kenby can't quite get him. Oh, handshake. Doesn't land. IMT, they sent the message, though. NRG are sweating and IMT are feeling good. Balu finding so many good zeros in this game. It just always seems like uh, Balu may be in trouble now. Yeah, Palafox was actually getting the wave and Baron for IMT of this game. And could you believe the outcome based on power rankings coming into today? We thought energy was. I don't know if it's like a not preparing for the low teams. I don't know what it exactly Well, they're is. not rational. <laughs> yeah, not rational gamers as the engage from Dogo almost one shots Balulu. Can they keep him alive? His ears out of there. Kenby's in and says, I will tank the rest of the damage for you, friend. But oh, oh dang, just flashing over the wall. Treats and Solo want it and they will take it. Ignar goes down while Tactile gets the top turret. That's a teleport back in from Balulu. He's still ready to fight Contracts and Dogla hoping to take him down. He just takes the same escape path twice. Now Contracts too far forward. Energy are getting wiped in the fight. IMT are making it happen while Tactical just ends the game. NRG Flounder, IMT soar. And could you believe it? Flash or Tackle didn't even need to. <laughs> Balulu picks up the kill with heads raised in defiance. They'll take down energy. IMT end their season with the win. Nicely done here by Immortals. They're going to try to pad the stats, pick up one more kill on Palafox, but he's running for the hills. <laughs> he's just trying to waste some time here as Solo will be soloing Ignar right now, but they have enough minions. IMT trying to pad the stats, have some fun. A well done split, and there you have it, IMT ended on a high note.